We are going to see the uh, pons and medulla and the circle of villus here. You can see that this is a frontal view of the pons. This is dilated part. This dilated part is representing the pons, and this is representing the middle cerebral peduncle. It is going into cerebellum. This is middle cerebral peduncle, and this is pons. Below the pons, you can see that this part is here. This this is uh, representing medulla. In the medulla, you can see uh, that. this part this pink color structure is the olive this is the olive and uh, uh, in this section you can also see uh, the nerves which are emerging some nerves are also emerging from here first of all this is the trigeminal nerve then this uh, nerve here this is the vestibular cochlear nerve it has got two components you see the vestibular part and the cochlear part and uh, this here this is representing the facial nerve facial and vestibular cochlear now uh, the uh, now we are see the, uh, we will see the blood supply you know that the uh, circle of villus actually is contributed by two uh, systems one is the vertebro basal system and the second one is the internal carotid system here we will see the vertebro basal system along uh, with it we will also see the internal carotid system but first we will see the vertebro basal system so the vertebro basal system is actually formed by two arteries the vertebral artery and the basilar artery this artery here this is the vertebral artery this vertebral artery at this pontomedullary junction it is terminating and it is continuing superiorly as the basilar artery so this is the basilar artery now what are the branches of these arteries first of all the vertebral artery the vertebral artery you know that uh, this artery here is given this will unite with the opposite uh, side artery to form the single artery which is known as anterior spinal artery in this side, uh, side you can only see the one side of the uh, the anterior spinal artery now this artery here this is going posteriorly and it will end up in the posterior median sulcus this hole is the posterior spinal artery and this artery here this one this is representing the posterior inferior cerebellar artery pica you know this uh, supplies the in posterior part of the inferior surface of cerebellum so it, you can see that it is supplying the stated area now uh, what are the branches of the basilar artery basilar artery in the pontomedullary junction region it is giving this artery this is known as anterior inferior cerebellar artery it is supplying the anterior part of the inferior surface of the cerebellum this you know this was the posterior part and this is the anterior part this hole is the inferior surface of cerebellum so this is supplying the anterior part of the inferior surface of cerebellum this one is known as ica anterior inferior cerebellar artery if we ascend upward you will notice that these small arteries which are present over the pons these are representing the basilar uh, uh, pontine arteries these are representing the pontine arteries which will supply the pons the major blood supply of the pons is coming through this these arteries these small arteries next we have this artery here this one this is also emerging from the basilar artery and you can see it is going uh, towards the cerebellum uh, in this uh, uh, no view you cannot see the further extent of this artery because this artery the superior cerebellar artery is going to supply the superior surface of the cerebellum and here we cannot see the superior surface so this is the superior cerebellar artery it is disappearing here and the final branch of the basilar artery the final one this here this is representing the posterior cerebral artery above this superior cerebellar this is the posterior cerebral artery so this was the uh, vertebro basal system and now we will see the internal carotid system 
first of all the mother artery this one is the internal carotid artery this cut artery here is actually the internal carotid artery uh, internal carotid artery gives off five branches uh, but here only the two terminal branches are uh, represented so one is this this artery this is the anterior cerebral artery you know this anterior cerebral artery passes superior to the optic chiasma and uh, it turns medially and it comes over the medial surface and once it reaches the medial surface it runs in the colossal sulcus and it supplies the medial surface of the uh, brain up to the parieto occipital sulcus and it will also supply the strip of the lateral cortex in the region of paracentral lobule and the homunculus is the uh, region of leg and foot. So this is the supply of the anterior cerebral artery. Now what is the supply of posterior cerebral artery? Uh, so, uh, sorry uh, the middle cerebral artery. I have earlier told you that we have only the two terminal branches the anterior cerebral artery and the middle cerebral artery. The middle cerebral artery is uh, actually running uh, in the lateral sulcus. You can see here this is the middle cerebral artery. This is the middle cerebral artery and this artery is going to supply the lateral surface of the brain uh, including the frontal and the parietal lobe up to the parieto occipital uh, uh, sulcus and except that area which is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. So this is the circle of Willis. Uh, now one artery that uh, actually is the major one connecting the two systems. This one, this is the posterior communicating artery. It is connecting the two uh, systems, the vertebrobasal system and the internal carotid system. So it completes the circle of Willis.